the first thing that people ask of you and your leadership team is to remind them of purpose and make them stay the course. And uh, as you go, and the old saying goes, the best sailors are made in the roughest seas, and you go and traverse and navigate this very, very uncertain environment, you're always there to act as sounding board and to unleash successes, small as they may be, but making sure those wins happen in sequence repeatedly, even through the darkest of times. I think uh, our financial results very out in 2020 was not a good set of numbers. We've come back and uh, recovered in the first quarter. Uh, we've just released the financial results yesterday. So there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's just a very long tunnel and it's got it's got uh, oops, dips and loops to, to ride through. Uh, it, I, I don't mean to trivialize this, but this is a period that has forced a great reset for the industry. Everybody's just got to rethink the entire approach to providing energy and solutions to their customers. One of the things that we've seen certainly in this last year, but really across work on leadership across industries and over time is the ways in which these kinds of moments, um, this is a particularly extreme moment that we've been in this past year, but there are many more uh, minor kinds of moments like this really, uh, of course, present challenges, but open opportunities for new creative ways forward to emerge as leaders develop and as their organizations develop. But one thing has come out very, very strongly as leaders in your team, you can never, ever under communicate. It is repeat, reach out, reinforce, repeat, re reach out and reinforce. And ultimately also as team leaders, you have to reassure. I really um, put a lot of uh, time into the, re re into the relationships with my direct reports, but also the people that I, that I get to interact whilst um, crossing them on the in the corridors or on the racetracks. And um, I think they feel that I care. In a way, I see the organization and 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 also the, the wider part as my tribe that I'm responsible for to protect, uh, to lead in the right way. And uh, I take great pride in, in doing that, getting to know and understanding uh, what worries um, what worries our our people? What incentivize? How to incentivize them? What motivates them? Them and I try to provide a framework um, for each and every one, because we we always speaking about companies or teams, but at the end of the day, it's all the people. All the best people that I have worked with, they, they have downtime, and if there is if they have a great group around them, the group will carry the ball. Sometimes in meetings, things get uh, a little bit too heated. Sometimes you don't think uh, in the most uh, clear fashion. It is not the most opportune moment for you. You need to distance yourself from the noise. And boy, was there a lot of noise last year. And there's still a lot of noise going on now. We tell people to speak up. We need as leaders to create a space that allows diverse opinions to be heard. Because what worked before, I think Toto started the session off, what worked before and what got us here may not work now and won't get us there. So speaking up must now be a readily available and practice culture in Petronas. And we're trying to push it day in and day out. The second, of course, is the courage to act. We have a, um, one motto that we um, kind of try to make everybody in the company to to, to live it day in and day out, and this is uh, see it, say it, fix it. You are allowed to speak up. Actually, if you don't, you're harming the organization. And that is something that may seem trivial. And of course, you need to speak up, but you need to create the environment for this to happen and not only put it on a PowerPoint and project it on the wall. And the, the, empower, the empowerment and, and um, creating that safe environment means that people are not afraid of losing their jobs. They are not afraid of taking risks um, because risks mean also innovation. 
the drive to learn and to improve is in the service of performance, right? It's not a way to allow people to make mistakes and let them off the hook. And that has to be the way in which these kinds of learning cultures are built, that people feel comfortable in their teams, in their groups, speaking up, saying when they made a mistake, when there was a near mistake that might not actually have ever been noticed, but it's an opportunity to learn and to adapt our processes.